Some of these lightweight implementations of Ubuntu and Debian, particularly on ARM-based devices, seem to lack some very useful terminal comfort features, such as pressing the tab button to autocomplete a command. For example, if I want to install some updates on this ARM-based system, I would be wanting to type, say, apt or apt-get, and yes, I can press tab to autocomplete that part of the command, uh, but what comes next? Don't know. But this is kind of exasperated if I'm in sudo. So I want to type in sudo, then apt. But look, I'm pressing tab and nothing is happening. Whereas the behavior you might expect on a more complete implementation of Ubuntu, or Debian, so I'm pressing tab here, so yeah, apt. Uh, yeah, let's go for apt, but what comes next? Hmm, let's think. Oh, I've got a choice here, so uh, yeah, I'd want to do update. Again, press tab here. So yeah, that would be the behavior I would expect. But that doesn't seem to exist everywhere. Oh, there's another little thing as well, like uh, what command did I mean to type? Oh, let's think. Uh, I typed in git there, but mm, what did I actually mean? Uh, don't know, it says command not found, okay, but uh, git here, oh, what did I actually mean? Oh, maybe I meant git, and it's available there. So those are a couple of applications that are missing, a couple of packages that are actually missing by default. So the two packages I'm going to install to fix that behavior is command not found and bash completion, and I do that with sudo apt install command not found, and bash completion, and there'll be a note of these commands in the video description. So yeah, those are fairly small packages to install. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're Python-based packages. So yeah, that's all installed. Uh, let me just clear the screen. Oh, the shortcut for that is Control and L. Then I'm going to look in the config file for bash, or bash rc, so with your favorite text editor. I'm just going with nano here, so that is sudo nano slash etc slash bash dot bash rc. So I go in there and just scroll down to this section here. It says enable bash completion in the interactive shells. So by default, that is commented out, but I found the command works perfectly fine with it commented out. If you're having problems, you can just uncomment it by deleting the hashes there. So yeah, you have to do, you have to delete them all for that little section. Yeah, just scrolling down a bit further, I can find this mention of the command not found package. So yeah, it's going to look for the package if it's installed, but yeah, it is now on this system. So if you make any changes here, well, it'd be control X and then Y to save, but yeah, I don't actually want to save anything here because I didn't change anything. And then to make the command not found work, you're going to have to do sudo apt update to refresh the apt package cache. And then I'm going to reboot the server just to make sure I've got a completely fresh session. This Odroid HC4 does take a little while to reboot. It gets stuck in a pre-boot loader. I could change that, but it's not often I reboot them anyway. Now I need to do an update about this because it's actually become my full-blown NAS for my network. I've got two of them on the network running and yeah, they're, um, they've replaced the old x86 NAS that I had. There's no real performance degradation reading off the devices, although it can be a little bit slow copying data to them. Yeah, let's try this out. So I'm going to do sudo apt. Well, let's try out. So apt, um, yeah, hyphen get. And then what do we have the options? There we go. Press and tab has brought up the list of options. So I need to do some updates on here, so that should be dist upgrade. Uh, but one moment, let's check out the command not found. So yeah, um, just mistyping git. And we have, yep, yeah, command not found, did I mean git? Yes, I did. Well, that was a little terminal comfort tutorial to fix these lightweight stripped down implementations of Ubuntu and Debian, which lack the tab to autocomplete feature. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.